How are you? I'm good. I loved the performance. Did you guys like it? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> right, so, Jera, you know, the one thing that people really loved about this song is the lyrics. Yeah. The fact that they're so relatable. Mm -hmm. The fact that a lot of people, are, you know, currently are feeling the vibe mm -hmm. and sipping. feeling... Yes, they're <laughs> sipping real hard, right? Yeah. So, um, you know, when you come up with such a song, yeah. do you do it because this is something that because you know... I'm simping. You are? <laughs> That's why I write it. <laughs> I love the honesty, guys. You know what? Even girls can sim. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine. Uh -huh, uh -huh. They can. Right. So, Jerry, this particular song mm -hmm. um, is one of your biggest hits yeah. in your career. Yeah. Right? It has opened so many doors for you. It has got you so much attention on social media. It has got you known. Yeah. You started your career in 2017. Yes. And it's taken this much time for you to be finally that viral face that yeah. everybody knows through TikTok. Yeah. So when you wrote this song, were you expecting it? No. <laughs> I did not expect it at all. Oh my gosh. I think actually because Akisioni was released in 2022. Oh. Yeah. Did you know that? <laughs> yeah. I thought so, it was released this year because no, it's gone viral this year. No. So it's equally surprised me, honestly. Oh. Yeah. TikTok, ni majabu. <laughs> For real. Um, so when you woke up one fine day and you see the numbers, yeah. what was your first reaction? Did it you call your manager? Were you like, what? It wasn't like a one day thing. Like I was Over just time. scrolling on TikTok and every four videos, there's a video with Akisioni. I'm like, okay, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and then I think we realized how much attention it's getting and you know, people are vibing with it and whatnot. And that's why we decided to do a remix of it. Um, to kind of bring, you know, that summer vibe to it, because it's the time of December, time of Sherehe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, I love that. Um, you were signed by Universal Music, yes. which is a big deal for any musician. If you are a musician, you know that being signed by such a label, it is a huge, huge achievement, accomplishment. Yeah. And of course, you know, you now you know that you have that safety net. Yes. You can experiment, you can go out there and try different sounds and be able to like still feel like don't worry I got this because I have somebody's backing and I also know that they will support me regardless so that means bigger budgets yeah. so what exactly does this come with being signed for such a huge label like Universal Music well of course there's a lot of pressure <laughs> to just you know keep doing the good thing that I'm doing but um, for me personally I just think it's an opportunity to be even more awesome you know now I don't have to focus on anything else other than just writing and creating so um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited for what you're about to hear because there's already right. things that are ready. Things are cooking or yeah. they've been cooked. They've already been cooked. Mm. <laughs> so I'm excited for, you know, not just 2025, but the end of 2024. Oh, yeah. okay. So yes, she, she has already mentioned that these things that are coming up, which by the way, I cannot wait to hear and watch. And of course, just to be able to listen to your sound because... I don't know. I feel like there is some Xenia in you. There's some right. Karun in you. Yeah. And then also there is you because you're so different. So yeah. there's like a little bit of everything. So who yeah. inspired you to have your sound and this uniqueness that you have? Well, fun fact, Xenia and I went to the same school. So oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe that's Shout out to Xenia Manasse. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but um, I think just like everyone else in my generation, I grew up listening to like Saudi Soul. Um, and my time, like Saudi Academy was just becoming a thing. Yeah. So um, I looked up to someone like Fee a lot. Um, uh, people like had the band, uh, people that like mentored me. Um, so I don't know, I think a lot of my focus was just making sure that I understand the industry here before I start looking outward right. because I did have road, role models from Uko Inje, but it, I felt like, okay, everything is already set up here. I need to look for people who understand the struggle here and, you know, mm. are making it happen here. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um, Jirai, you, you have mentioned that there is something interesting coming up. Any interesting features, collabs? Are you going to be with collaborating with some of the, the industry's best? Of course. There's a lot of collaborations coming up. A lot of unexpected collaborations. I Any international to, ones? Of course. Ooh, <laughs> international collaborations as well. 
I don't okay. wanna spill I don't wanna spill too much tea, yeah. but um yeah for sure. Expect to see Njerai in so many different shapes and forms. Okay, yeah. looking forward to that. Jirai, so we usually have this thing called um lip sync challenge. Mm -hmm. And uh today we want to challenge you with something. Oh wow. Yeah. <laughs> do we do we have something to challenge her with? <laughs> ah no, oh not Anguka and I. <laughs> Actually, well, oh Jeraya could do Anguka Nayo in her own style. <laughs> I think I think Diviz is cooking. We're we're waiting for him to cook. You got something? All right, thumbs up from him. So Jeraya, this is you. We're going to leave you to do your thing, and let's see what he's about to do. But but just have fun with it. It's right. a fun place. We'll cheer you on, right? Yeah. All right, give it up for.